So in 2018, in the assembly elections, uh, the BJP had 43% of the vote share. The Congress and the left, if taken as an aggregate, had 16% of the vote share. According to the India Today uh, Access My India post poll uh, prediction, the BJP in this exit poll with the IPFT is likely to have 45% of the vote share. The left and the Congress together. Now this is interesting as Rajdeep mentioned because this could potentially be a template in other places. But wherever they have tried it, it hasn't worked at least in terms of conversion into seat share. 32% of the votes for the left and the Congress. Uh, this was 9% in the Lok Sabha and 16% in the Assembly if I were to add the Congress and the left vote share. Then the Tripura Motha of uh, Pradyut De Burman uh, at 20%. Remember, uh, this is a new front that's come up asking for a separate Tripura uh, land. But the question is, how does this convert into seats? Let's take our viewers through that. The conversion of these votes into seats. India today and Access My India predict that the BJP will form the next government in Tripura. Out of the 60 seat assembly, the majority market 31. Access My India predicts for the India Today group that the BJP alliance with the IPFT will have between 36 and 45. The left and the Congress together between 6 and 11. Uh, the Tipura Motha. Uh, between 9 and 16. What we're essentially seeing, Rajdeep, is because of the presence of the Tripura Motha, because of Pradyut's presence in the fray, the opposition vote has got split as a result of which the BJP has increased its vote share just by 2%. It's actually down in comparison with the Lok Sabha, but comfortably poised to be able to form the next government and come back to power in Tripura once again. More than the division in the opposition vote, Rahul, what I would say is that Tripura is seeing classically consolidation of the tribal vote towards the Tipra Mota and the Bengali vote towards uh, the BJP and the Congress Left Alliance, which is an unnatural alliance. These are the two parties that have fought each other for the last 50 years. They've come together only to stop the BJP. Once you do that, you run the risk of the... Congress voter not necessarily shifting to the left, that's happening, and the BJP is consolidating. So clearly at the moment what we are seeing in Tripura is a potential consolidation of the Bengali vote. And just for our viewers, Tripura has 60 seats, 20 were in the tribal belt. That's where the Tipra Mota is doing well, calling for a greater Tipra land, almost a separate state within a state. And the remaining 40 seats in the general category is where the BJP is doing well. Remember about 70% of the, uh, Tripura's population is Bengali speaking and about 30% is tribal. So what you are seeing is the demographics of Tripura are now working squarely in favor of the BJP. So the big story coming in from Tripura is that the BJP is once again poised to retain a state. Despite anti-incumbency, nine months ago a chief minister changed Biplav Dev, replaced by Dr. Manik Saha, the BJP poised to do better than they did, or as well certainly as 2018. Kaushik Deka, joining us, uh, the man from India Today magazine, also handles a very important digital site now, India Today Northeast. Kaushik, your first reactions to these Tripura numbers. These are almost expected because, uh, as I had mentioned earlier also, uh, the emergence of Tipra Motha is actually helping BJP. Tipra Motha, as I can see, it's getting around 9 to 16 seats and of course those seats will come from the tribal belt where BJP last time won 10 seats and its partner IPFT won 8 seats, 18 seats. So BJP seems to have lost jo those seats to Tipra Motha now. 18, uh, if Tipra Motha takes even 16 seats, then BJP would lose on, on those seats. So what has uh, uh, this emergence of uh, this Tipra Motha, it has led to the consolidation of the Bengali vote. So I have been repeatedly saying that uh, uh, because the moment this tribal sentiment emerges, the 70% population, the Bengali population, that uh, there is, has been a consolidation because they see BJP as the party which can protect them. Because if you, if you, if you carefully listen to BJP's poll campaign towards the end, 
it categorically kept saying that we would not give Tipra land, we would not split Tripura. The whole campaign was, was revolving around that. So that means BJP was actually targeting the Bengali votes and uh, which they successfully seem uh, to right. have gained. This shows up in our numbers. If you look at the caste and community-wise breakup of uh, the Access My India exit poll predictions for India today, the Tipra Motha picks up 51% of the vote share amongst the tribal communities, whereas the BJP picks up 60% plus vote share amongst the general and OBC categories, which essentially means because the Tripura Motha came up as a separate party, pushed by the erstwhile Maharaja, uh, the non-tribal vote has got consolidated. The left and the Congress have done well in the minority dominated seats. For example, amongst the Muslim seats, the left and the Congress together have 67% of the vote share. But that apart, whether it's the uh, Dalits, whether it is the OBCs or the general communities, uh, caste, they have helped the BJP with a massive consolidation. And it's big because this is where the likes of Amit Shah, the likes of Hemant Biswa Sarma worked really hard on ensuring that they would win Tripura again to show that 2018 wasn't a fluke.